Hey family, welcome back to my channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name is Chanel. A warm welcome to you. I hope and pray you feel the urge to join this family. A virtual hug for everyone and once again, thank you for joining. There's sweetness in the atmosphere. A bright future starts right here. Amen. In chapter 1 verse 2 to 8, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, Consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. I'm going to talk to some people who've been through some things in their lives that can testify today that had it not been for the Lord who was on their side, there's no way that they would have survived. I'm going to talk to some people who had their share of tests and trials and their lives appeared to be a mess, but they emerged from the fire like refined gold because our God was always in control. And while persons were praying for material things, We've been praying for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and standing upon the promises of God. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 tells us that the Lord grants wisdom, and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. And what we acknowledge is that wisdom is also knowing how to control our tongue. That wisdom is living an honorable life and doing good works with humility. That wisdom is listening to God's teachings and following them, and not being babbling fools. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 13 to 14. My child, eat honey, for it is good, and the honeycomb is sweet to the taste. In the same way, wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, you will have a bright future and your hopes will not be cut short. Family, let's do what is required of us so we can truly experience this sweetness in the atmosphere. A bright, hope-filled future. It is here and it is being offered to those who will allow God to guide and direct them. Amen. God bless you, family.